Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hens. No catch up for a nine. We're back to Dangle Rumpa 2. So let's talk to Kevin mm -hmm. Hi, I don't pack out a killer. What do you think of that? I mean Well, if you want that somewhere, even though he was supposed to in the office. I really couldn't be Aki after the blackout. He went in the office right away, but when I got here, he was gone. Wow. I don't say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm. I think it's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used a blackout to, to her advantage to kill Biakia. Hey. I don't think she looks kind of ruthless, too. Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. It's oh. the fuck teeth, isn't it? Oh, it probably is. But yeah, you are a little <laughs> suspicious. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in the office. Naturally, I look suspicious as I was supposed to be here. Wait! S supposed to be here? Does that mean. I see. Oh, that's right! You weren't in the office! But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the realm and case of the weapons in it? So, where'd you run off on your own to? To on your own? Well. That is... <sighs> oh, uh... Okay. I saw it drop, drop to the floor and I'm like, oh, that, that's not good. Bigo suddenly dropped to one knee and started droning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? All that? Hey. Hey, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend adding the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like there will be a tough path. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a lot of people taking shits in this game. Yes. Cold sweat dripping from her forehead. Pick up while I'm in the office. What happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say it myself, but if I really feel bad enough for Pick as it is. How does that mean? I mean, is that cool? Didn't she like run away or something? Because if she ran away, it's obviously, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. You just have the same, like, angry points that uh, Hero had. <laughs> Hmm, is that really what it was? Hey, where'd Pika go? She looked pretty pale. Well. If she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, uh, it'd be improper for me to say. Huh? Well, say it anyways. Well. You have anything to add? What's up there? Oh, okay, it's TV. Sorry, it's where I looked at it. Hey, there's a lion. Or a desk, rather. Does it work? It's a case. I think we're gonna look at that. Yeah. Ooh, the remote control. There's an interesting one, though. This is the. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? I think the timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set to that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? No, it's not. No. How do you know she just went done with the office? Don't you think so? Should get going. So there's 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 two things yep. here that I'm noticing. Yeah. Uh, one of them is obviously the bathroom was occupied, and that would cause her to go somewhere else, so that somebody could fuck with the circuit with the uh, the air conditioning with remote control. Because I assume that she was already having the shits before, and th that's why she wasn't there earlier. And on the other hand, that means that something must have given her that. And she did get some of the food, but I don't know if that means anything. So, like, that's that's my two uh, 
two notes from that whole thing. Because I think it's too obvious if it's just like, oh, well, it's it's her because she did it, so. Because she was there and she had all the, like, that's just way too straightforward yeah. of a thing. And that means that earlier she was out and messing with, uh, messing with the other things in the other room, which I doubt, so. I don't know. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the old building. Yeah. So how about we check out Byakia's cottage? Byakia's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just check just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you too worried about the possibility that it might be in danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with, with doubt in others, there's so much better than to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You definitely are the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright! Alright, then, then let's get going. To Byakuya's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't know how I'm supposed to react. Out the old building, there was a strange scene falling before me. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, It'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. I see. I see. On the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. That that would kind of explain uh, how he got stabbed multiple times and was okay there, but that's. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. Carpet laid directly didn't reach the table where I found Byakuya's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge cats between the floorboards. Then, then is it possible that the killer Byakuya, ki the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep, that's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under from here. Well. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Well, no, that's not possible. Sure. Anyway, it seems you can't get under the floor from the outside of the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only really be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Alright, for you, Hiko. So, I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, who knew Hiko came here? Well, he did. Huh? What happened, Furuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone in a place like this? Yep, I'm standing guard, so Monokuma doesn't come inside. <laughs> How diligent of you! Hey, hey! You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no! Not even if you paid me! Parties are stupid! They make me want to puke! Yeah. Oh, dumb. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not! I was just going for a damn walk! What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Then leave me alone! And then, you just left. So, that happened, but... Why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of a group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey! He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? Maybe we start talking about video games. 
Then again, when are we not? This, this channel? <laughs> I see. Even though know, we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have a reason to doubt him. I'm glad. I to believe I'm glad. I keep saying you're glad, but you have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakio's cottage. <laughs> As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. I guess I'll check again. Uh, does she have anything to say? Um, let me see. Um, I guess for now, I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there, I think. Also, yep. Kuyuhiko came by not too long after the party started. I guess that's it. No, oh, hello! Speak of the devil. It's Father Tiny Child. <gasps> what the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Did you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Biaki is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? You think I'm the killer? Whatever you think, whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm. Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. <laughs> Checking my alibi, huh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because, uh, Chiaki just said she saw you in front of the whole building. <laughs> Nosy bitch! Jeez. Sure, I went for a little walk. And then, just by chance, I ended up passing the old building. You really going for a walk? Doesn't tell me you're actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass! Alright. So you, you still very old might have done- Oh, I'm getting way too close to you. <laughs> Alright! Now then, we must head over to Biakia's cottage. If you get lost, check the map and this- Thank you for your helpful advice. Uh, oh, this is next to yours. Yeah. Huh? It's locked. Hey. Well, I guess we need to ask him for help. Uh, and so, I gotta take a deep breath. Hey! Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Did you call me? <laughs> okay, so, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. It's something you want to investigate. Oh, hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. <laughs> Even I can play soccer by myself for as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open the Arceus cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. For a class trial? Hmm. Well, if it's for a class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. See? I unlocked the door. Now we can investigate to your heart's content. What? Why does it open with a magic spell? It, it's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see, so I guess we should... Go inside then. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Nope. I noticed you. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Biakia? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. How'd you make it? Anyway, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. But this is... This is... This is... A crime warning? No, if it says, be careful, it's... Probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send... No, I... Wall. <laughs> Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe. Hey. This is why Biakia suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Biakia. 
He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about other dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, if it was just a worst case scenario. But Byakuya kept saying how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Um, he couldn't just overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why do you keep his secret? He could just told us. Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, then whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about all this by himself without telling anyone? Yep. A strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway. There was in Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank and might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. Hmm? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. Let's see. There's someone to believe one of us could be a killer. Still, I've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. Of course, there was this letter murdered Byakuya. That's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? Plan to manipulate Byakuya and kill him right before our eyes. An old building. Damn, who the hell would do that? I'm trying to f remember who who was the one who suggested the old building. Actually, I think it was. I'm watching you. I mean, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Also, he was he was the one who uh, who had uh, a way to place that knife there. So I don't know. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> ah, which reminds me. Is Myra for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out everybody's standing before the blackout. It's probably finished by now. You coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I need to collect some of my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what he has to say as well. I think the result of our autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. See you later. He's pretty pale. Maybe he's okay. More than usual. Much time left. Right over to the world building. Is there anything else investigating this? Tap. Peekaboo, I see you. Oh, what'd you find it? No. Up in the window. Oh, there we go. I knew there was something like that in here. He was one of the ones I was missing. All right. Is there areas that you can, like, miss? I think you could probably go back there after the case is over because it's unlocked now. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm getting over there. <laughs> too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh, yeah. I might as well ask you about the old building's windows. Hey, uh, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't wanna... I don't wanna help you guys mistrust your friends! What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to! No, that's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old buildings windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up, so nobody made the mistake of going inside, since it's dangerous because of the renovation! I see, the renovation, so that's why you covered them up? Because it's dangerous to go inside! Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island! This isn't how it was supposed to be! But why did it get... Oh, oh but why did it get like this? It's too cruel! Too cruel! <laughs> just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. To do this no matter what, damn it. Nah. I enjoy talking to her. I enjoy that you can just randomly talk to her. Yes, I like it's just standing around. <laughs> no. Joe Soro. What's this? What's a. 
the hell was that loud voice just now? Was he finally able to take a shit? Hmm, the bathroom seems to be open. I need to go right now, there's no need for me to go inside. I feel so... I feel so lighthearted right now. Hi, Nekamura Nita! I have been reborn! I have no intention of losing anymore! Losing to who? Oh. Deal! <laughs> I was gonna say that if he didn't. That's, I would lose to anyone. Not even my past self. Uh, that sounds cool and all, but... What are you even talking about? What? I don't know who was behind it, but... Someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Well, I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. Jeez. However, if you think you'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one presence in mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, the leader must never falter in any situation. But I've, but I always have the presence of one's mind. It says that, but I'm pretty sure he's shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, that's not to get into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is... The bathroom was finally unoccupied after Biakia's body was found. Well, that's how long it lasted. At least that sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. No, it probably is very relevant. And in fact, I'm, I'm willing to bet that it's one of the most relevant things. Oh, you're in here now. Just as I thought. It seems there's no way to get onto the floor from inside this old building. Maybe. So I just thought it's not going to said. If that's the case, I should give up and find the gun earring. Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you aren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Mm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this! Just as you told me, using the photos I took before the blackout. Where did that midget go? She's just gone. So I can't actually. Both of them just vanished. I tried to pinpoint where everyone is standing. When I did this, this diagram was the result. Standing position before the blackout. Everyone, everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. I've made this diagram for analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. I thought Byaki was standing a far distance from that table. It's possible. Then we'd be able to move this far during the blackout. This is lying next to the table where Byaki was killed. Um, it's a desk lamp. I drew a power cord for it just in case. Power cord for the desk lamp? Of course, it's standing in front of the table where Byakia was killed, that means. Hey! So, did you find something? Mm, it's not clear to me yet, but. I guess you're right. I really didn't understand myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? huh? It's not clear to me yet, but. It's no mistake that a clue is hidden there. Really important clue. Can I actually? That's the beginning of that. Test lamp. Okay. Now, I want to do this. Right then. If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um... <coughs> Christ. 
I tried, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Biakia's body, and I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Biakia's chest and abdominal regions, deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. <laughs> it can only be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeter in diameter was used to stab him over again, which is what I believe. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry! Talking about it made me sad! No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry! Still, around 5 millimeters in diameter, huh? That's pretty thin. As thin as a pick or an ice pick or an owl. An owl? I, I have no idea. No! Also, yeah, that would be the, the skewer then at that point. Yeah. Not so much the knife. Which means that... That's probably why the tape was still on there. Because the knife was stuck to the table and they had to just kind of... And they kind of just like cut it loose with that. Hmm. Alright then. Interesting. Alright. Somebody definitely was in there for, or I think that being under the thing might have definitely still be an accurate, like guess, and then that's how they like cut off the knife. But I'm not, I'm not sure how that all fits together. I, I, I there's puzzle pieces, but I don't know which goes where yet. Ding dong, bing bong, I'm here again. Alrighty, guys, it's finally time. That's right. shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Well, that, half of my friends, cute. is Monokuma <laughs> Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Well, the carving of Monokuma's face at the central island? I think it's the other way. Is it? I think so. Yeah. No. Oh, no. oh, wait. I like how I just went to the park, but that's not at all where I was supposed to go. I like the snake. The robo snake. Oh, okay. I leveled up from walking. I can do shit with a robot bird. <laughs> oh, there it is. I did walk around. Okay, that's kind of funny. I like how the eyes look like Wario mustaches from, uh, from a distance. Yeah. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? How did that get here? Never mind that. I'd even make a mountain shape like Monokuma. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya! We still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. Byakuya, 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 Byakuya! What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Uh, I don't know. They probably ran away. No oh, hell no! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here! Don't fuck with me! Oh, sorry. That's not bad. I'm telling you! Let me go! Hey! Hey, now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Fuck you! Now oh, fuck you too, man! Jeez! I'm not taking that shit from you! Hey, Fuyuhiko! What are you doing all this time? Nothing! 
wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room and suddenly I heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You, how can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, and even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait, oh, that's enough. You too, Fumiko. Dumbass. Um, and I guess they're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am right here. Now then, let us begin. Oh, hello, you have your ear from back. Yeah, he does. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? Hey. It seems you've noticed too. Oh ha 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 ha! If I did, then I'm right. Well then. Oh, I won. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Second. Nope. Why, my monomy? What are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I, I. Hmm. Do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister, so I shall allow your special participation. Well, I'm going ahead and wait for you guys. So hurry over. He told us to come, but how do we get there? Huh? Don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance. <laughs> Was it? Secret entrance. Uh, talk to everybody. Yeah, let's start with the boogie on the far left. You can barely even see her. <laughs> well, in RPG video games. It is common for secret areas to be underground. Comparing a situation to a video game. I'm out how absurd. That's so annoying. Jeez, how boring. Yeah. Whatever, let's just go inside already. All my papers in a row. Yes. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck if that fat pig is dead. Who fucking cares? Seriously. I do. Be happy! Your humans have been spared! <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> we gotta find the killer! If we don't, we're the ones that are gonna get killed! I... I... Oh. I'm wondering about... Gun them too, right? You too, huh? This is definitely strange. Why is this happening? Oh, why do we have to find the killer? Would you rather um, go go off scot free? Yeah, are you doing okay? You look like you weren't doing too well earlier. No. D don't worry about it. I appreciate your concern. However, there are other things you should be focusing on. I don't want to go. Is there any way I can run away from this? That is a huge organization, so my kingdom has been cast in doubt. However, I do not think my government would participate in something like this. That's weird. What happened, Hajime? Are you scared? Seriously, you're such a wuss. Let's stop this bad joke! Why don't we, uh, have dinner instead? You know, even though it's like, probably real freaking late at this point. <sighs> this is our battle to avenge Biakia, but we feel quite disheartened. <laughs> What's that? Something's shaking. This is dangerous! Please get down! Oh. This is ridiculous. Alright then. Something came out! C couldn't be. Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura! Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine! 
It's trembling with fear. Ah, not so terribly suspicious. Forgive me. Seriously, forgive me already. Uh, <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way. There's just no way that we'll find the killer. Stupid. Unless it's you and you don't want us to find him. Oh. Complaining will get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no doubt, but no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's no way to run for us. We need to do it. Mm. That's everyone's decision. I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's just do our best to clear the game. Well, actually, somebody <laughs> sets things to not being hard. I have it on normal difficulty. Yeah, no. So that's I was joking at that. No, me too. So shaking with fear and nervousness, I suddenly lifted my feet and stepped into the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. I could do would stare upwardly intensely as the elephant of the galaxy and yawn. Oh, all right. And more than each of us enter Makuma Rock. Oh my God, I'm so not ready for this. <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought it was going to blast off into space. Yeah, I thought so too. And then crash down and kill us all. This is an elevator. I see. This entire rug is an elevator. Oh. I don't want eight lines. Oh, okay. There Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However. However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. Heard an never chattering sound inside my head. Soon realized the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lip tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. It's gonna get sad when this elevator's empty. God. And there we were, listening to the unpleasant roars. The elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Ten pass before the elevator finally finished descending. The elevator door slowly opened. Ooh. Welcome! Okay! Welcome! This is the class trial field! How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate! What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this! Don't Are you fucking me. crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! <laughs> Complain all you like! I'm used to it more now. Yeah. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. As Monokuma ordered, we walk towards a seat that, been, that we have been assigned. At this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. He's overly critical, arrogant, kind and condescending. But... He also had a strong sense of responsibility. If you're panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. Got a guy like him. Got murdered. Oh, hello. This little intro here is always real cool. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. No way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life acting trial, bill and billing with hope and despair, has begun. Deadly something, deadly something, deadly something else, deadly, class deadly, trial. Deadly. The, the fan translation of the first game was a lot worse with that. Alright. It was like real... Set skills! Man. I don't have Oh, any we didn't skills. buy any. But we mm. can open the e-handbook and do it. That is a good thing, because I didn't want to do that. Let's see... Uh... Report cards? Was it? It's a report card and then click on Monami. Yeah. Or Usami, I think. Oh, well. Let's see... 
Trigger Happy Echo Room, Melodious Voice. I like how they're all, uh, a lot of these are like the, the same ones. from the thing, yeah. But should I just, uh, do you recommend any of them? Because I don't know. Uh, um, 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 um. I don't know. I ha I'm gonna take out a list of the abilities. Hold on. Oh, wait, it tells you what they do. Yeah. Mutual liberation for sure. Panic talk action. There's a new thing. Please reward. Thank you for your time. The damage I'd like one that like increases. Uh, I'd say get melodious voice because it increases damage that you do. A uh, panic talk action is the same thing as like the the as the uh, rhythm game. Oh, it's okay. just the new name for it, right. or like a different translation of it. Right, so let's try on that one. Skill gas. All right, vocabulary. This is bullet capacity. I should lock on the two statements at once. Uh, I guess that one's good. I'd get Delusion. Delusion? Okay. Because I think Influence Gauge is your health. So it increases your health during concentration and fever time. Which yeah. is like the thing. Turning power, max speed, and jumping power. Right. Oh, that's a new game mode called Logic mm. Dive. It's real fun. You're gonna want the abilities for that. Uh do that. You're gonna get Moonsault? Yeah, I'd recommend that. Well, I can I can get all of them. So you're gonna get all of them? Well, yeah. Four remaining. Let's see, I can get Algorithm. Cool. Which one did you say? Oh, get Algorithm. That increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Alright, uh... Or you could get. I wanted to get um, delusion because that increases your health over time better. Oh, okay. I think. Uh, which one did you say? Algorithm. Yeah, get algorithm. Because right. it increases the speed of memorizing statements. No ways. That's not how I do it. Right, Set so skills. Oh, we don't have enough skill points for all of them. Tell me what you're gonna equip. I'm gonna do the ones for the new game, like you said. I can't do algorithm anymore. Or, or melodious voice. voice. That's okay, we'll okay. level up a bit off screen, because that's what gives you SP. Alright, well. Change difficulty. Oh, you can make it harder or less so. Tell you what, you're at hard logic, you said? Yeah. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, I mean logic. So, I guess I'm just gonna finish Because I've technically played this one. Well, not technically, I have played this one. Alright. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, <laughs> I noticed that, yeah. you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island! S such a cruel rule! Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among us. I actually love that I can keep so up with you during the class trials kind of now, because before I kept... It? Yeah. When we were separate, I kept falling behind or being ahead. Yeah, but that's alright. So I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate monomy, of course. You hate me that much? Now, let's begin. Your tongue is to begin. But what are we supposed to do? No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Bianca your bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. 
The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately, we can find out who murdered him. Can't do that. No, thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide civil tutorials at every mo important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my irritating rudeness. <laughs> irritating rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, I will engage in a number of non-stop debates. There is discussions of the classmates will speak out after without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any larger mistakes contained within their statements. This means you'll have to use truth bullets to refer to what they say. Out of all that truth bullets, you find during your investigation only the relevant ones will be loaded into your truth cylinder. Use that mouse to move the reticle and fire with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you automatically fail, so please be careful. You press the escape key. During these arguments, you can review the controls. Well done, good luck, and have fun. I like how we can actually uh, skip a tutorial for that. Knife, blood's on the table, gaps on the full board. Probably the gaps are going to be important. Why was Biakuni's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table, at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body, they tried to delay its discovery! Okay. Like a dog burying a bone! That's pretty simple. Yeah. I just wanted to see if there was any other things. Yeah, there's only one thing you can do. Huh? What did you just say? It's clearly contradicting kind of information I know. Why was Byakuya in a place like his body was under the very back of After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Oh my god, the No, that's wrong. The aiming is really funky in this. Yeah, that's why um I didn't know I don't know if we had that skill available, but there's one to stabilize the cursor and it's basically required for this because the cursor moves all over the place. Oh my god. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. No, there was a lot of blood everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moves the body. I see. I get your point. Oh. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I hate her. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Yakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person oh, he was? <laughs> Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Piaquia was doing during the party, don't you think? The reason Piaquia dove under the table is connected to what Piaquia was doing during the party, then it's possibly... Uh, oh shit, I have no idea. It could be the knife. What's the problem? It was connected to what Bak Byakuya was doing during the party. Um. Oh, the, <laughs> the threat? Uh, maybe? Try it. Yeah, okay. okay. Is it the. It's not the knife. Is it not the knife? No. 
Let me try the case. No, okay, Mekon, thank you. Now we're trying a knife. I can prove it with oh, it's a knife? What the fuck? Okay. okay, I was right the first time. So, like, I was here, just flips. During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one wire contradiction. In the debate at a time, this means there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what that was said, you also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail. So please be extra careful not to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually larger mistakes. Also, if you concentrate by holding on the space key, you can progress the argument slowly. Please use it whenever you feel like saves are moving too fast for you to aim. Or if your cursor is fucking low. Well. <laughs> However, this does consume focus gauge. So please be careful. Alright. I might just skip the uh, explanations so we kind of already know what they do. Oh Christ, there's so many bullets. Night vision goggles, probably. Yeah, obviously. I'm guessing. I'm sure Byaki had ducked under the table. So he's gonna do one During round of uh, doing everything. That sounds correct. If that's the case. Oh wow, I'm surprised that registered. I was like three inches above where I was supposed to shoot. But it was super yeah, it pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my phone. I need one of those covers for my screen so you have to be directly in front of it to see. Yeah, I, I, I shot it there too and it registered. It was funny. No, I actually did see that something, so. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the tape. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. No. No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. The other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Yakuya. Are you seriously doing this one here? Were you surprised by my hero's some argument? Yeah, I was. It's between you and me. I was also surprised, and so was my hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have a counter to the other person's claim. Draw out their weak spot and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the last keys. Based on the shape of their remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. Oh, I like this one. And based on that, you can skew the debate mode to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the person's remarks, it will skew towards your advantage. The bottom right corner of your screen is a number that shows the sharpness of your counter as displayed. This number of times you can cut remarks during one, one round of the debate. You will lose accounts of sharpness, even if you miss, so please be very careful. When the mute skews your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, you will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, you will skew the mute towards the other party's advantage. Plus, it's gonna be very... big. It's like a regular debate when you're feuding any weak spots with the left mouse button. Of 
course, you don't have the correct truth flight. You will not be able to cut your opponent's remark. Huh? What's that? Truth flight. I'm terribly sorry. It appears there's been a delay in contacting you. Make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. <laughs> this about truth bullets will be called truth lights. Um, that's about it. Only you need are changes to your handbook menu. Only the name was changed, but don't you think a change in feeling is important? You press the escape key. During these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Not ready. Knife. Uh, the case. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. No. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. Okay. Oh, okay. Just, just throw that at me. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously uses night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. No. And then the thing, and then you have to click it, yeah. Yes. If they use night, they I like block this block mode a lot, actually. In reality, it gets real intense later on. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. You can select it, you can select it. Yeah. Even if there's other statements on the screen. You're gonna eat those words! Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Definitely, definitely, baby. <laughs> Inside the Duralumu case Yakuya had with him during the party, he found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumu case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird. Oh no. Times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Damn it. Knife was brought in the room in the case, along with the night vision goggles too. Well, that's not possible. Knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. They should be able to prove it. Tonight's main dish. Yes. The spotless hammer. <laughs> We're bringing it back. Duct tape. Duct tape. Woo. -hoo. There's a weird outline for me around the characters. Look, there's like a blue outline around all of them. It's really weird. Yeah, there is for me too. Oh, I couldn't tell from here because I have my glasses on. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic. So why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. You went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You think so too, <laughs> right, Hajime? That's right. Byakuya probably knew there was a possibility the murder would occur, but we're gonna have to wait on that. Oh, okay. Can we? Can we not? Can we not? All right. Just do it, and then we'll stop the video. Yeah. <laughs> it is the embarrassing pose. The fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, the murder card. I can prove it with this. 
The stupid, like, Everyone, flailing hair. Please take a look at this? Nope, because we're gonna have to end the video here, so for now, thank you guys all for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time. Or we'll finish up the trial, probably. So for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye!